Hello, my name is Brad Rao, and we are going to learn intermediate strumming patterns. If you've watched my beginning strumming pattern video, you have the basics of strumming patterns. You would want to know that. If you know the basics of strumming, that it, it kind of covers that. You, if you have strummed a little bit of guitar before, you might not need to, but it's a good basis of just understanding how complexity grows out of simplicity which is the biggest lesson in music. If you can understand that, you will be able to derive anything on your own without having to refer to someone else telling you. Um, and that goes both for com moving in from complexity to simplicity and vice versa. Sorry for the philosophy lesson. This is, uh, but we're getting a little bit intermediate now. Okay, so the big thing here is the miss up. Okay, we talked about the upbeat. We had the downbeats. Two, three, four. And the upbeats are the and. Every time I say and, A-N-D, and. One, two, three, and four. And, one, and. That's an up, up, beat, up, beat. What? The upbeat when you're dancing would always be the head up. So if you're emphasizing the up, you're getting an up. You know, if you imagine someone dancing, you're going to up. As opposed to um, um, dub, step, reggae, 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 reggae. You know, so these are different kind of feels, and um, it's important to understand um, another thing that I wasn't going to cover in this video, but I want you to know that the style of the music is in the pick; it is not in the chord. You can play, you know, country, jazz, blues, you know, jazz is one of the few styles where you actually really have to use a different chord to get the style. But you can get country, rock, blues, funk, all with the same chords, depending on what you do solely with your pick. Now, I'm not saying that the left hand doesn't play its part, but most people don't think so much about, don't realize how important style is and how... People will create images in their heads of different musical places. For example, um, well, this is I'm not not necessarily talking about strumming patterns, but just to make this very vivid. I play this, and most people think of Spain. You're already associating that. If I was, you know, you you have that in a video, like the guy goes to Spain. There's always like there's always that some kind of someone doing something like that. Probably more authentically, hopefully, <laughs> even I could be, you know, not trying to be authentic today. But um, these, the pick can take people to different worlds. Here's the thing. Pe some people don't like country music, but they like rock and roll. And that is in the pick. You don't like country music. <laughs> I don't like country, you know, but then they like rock music. That's the pick. That's the pick. That is not, that's the same. I did D and A. I did the same two chords. You don't like country music, you like rock music. So, so this is something that you want to pay attention to because people like and dislike what's going on here. Even though this, nobody says... I don't, you know, I don't like D to A. Nobody's saying that. Maybe some music majors are. I like, you know, the preferred complexity over simplicity, um, as I did for years and probably still do. Um, but uh, very few people judge music. I don't like, you know, the minor four chord in a major key. Or something. I don't know who would say that, but maybe some people, someone might not like that at some point. Maybe they've ever heard it too much or something. Um, nobody's talking about music like that. People say, I don't like rock. I don't like, oh, I don't like jazz. I don't like bluegrass. I like country, but I don't like bluegrass. That's the pick. So watch out for the pick. The styles of music are in the pick. Maybe I should make a video about style. But this is... The intermediate, I just want you to know that the intermediate getting to the lesson, I'm rambling too much, I hope you, this is helping in some way, is the miss up. So I'm going to do miss up on beat two. One, two, three. I'm gonna, let's, I guess E minor again. One, two, and three, four. 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 
I was shaking the mic a little bit. I'm tapping my foot. I was tapping it on the mic stand. But I'm tapping my foot to keep the rhythm, and I'm counting. Are you tapping your foot and counting? Do you have the coordination to do that? Maybe you don't have it today, but that's a goal. Let me tell you something, too. When you, you know, everybody's really good in their room. Every student that I've had will laugh at this video when I say this because they come in and they say I was better at home every student I have ever had has said that and I have said that to all of my teachers and the reason that I say that is because I'm better at home so I believe my students now some of them might be hoaxing me um, but I have my suspicions and I usually over time can tell um, but uh, it's funny some of, of course I every now and then I have a student who, who uh, you know can excel and doesn't even re you know doesn't even realize it but most people uh don't realize, you know, aren't, don't don't realize how good they sound. You know, they 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 have a lot of trouble sounding good in front of someone, and the reason is because there's layers. You only have one layer of support. If you if you can only play in your most comfortable environment, in your most comfortable chair, where everything is comfortable, then you are going to have a lot of trouble um, with other things. So if you can, so if it's hard for you to play and tap your foot, you should learn how to do it just because it's hard. I, you don't need to tap your foot. Sometimes I tap my foot when I play. Sometimes I use it as a percussive element. You can hear it. Something like that. Um, but just because to get the extra coordination so that when you're handling a situation that is uncomfortable, you've been, you can play guitar and do something else and not just have all 100% of your focus on guitar. And the second that something slips up your attention, it slips up your guitar. So, um, counting out loud with these rhythms is going to be challenging, but a long-term goal. One, two, and three. How about one, two, and three, and four, okay? Now the next one, you know, I can do one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. So I'm doing a miss up on three. I'm strumming on one, strumming on two, miss up on three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay? I'm going to do it on beat four. Miss up on four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And. Okay? Now, one of the hardest rhythms, and this is a great strumming pattern to learn by itself, but also the extreme of the upbeats, is to do strum an eighth note on one. We're going to give you a one, at least for now, so you have some place to ground you. One and, and then two and, three and, four and, one and, two and. This is what I'm talking about with the flow. Four and, my hand always moves up and down. And, three and, four and, one and, two Three. Some people do this when they to, the preparing is the muting. I might make another video about about. I'm gonna have to make another strumming video at some point. Um, one and and fast or with the muting. That's the Mike Margolis. They call that the Mike Margolis. Uh, that's one of the Mike Margolis. So anyway, um, that's all of them. And then you want to mix it. I think that ideally you don't want to just do all upbeats all the time. But maybe. Or with the muting. In the, in the, in the McGovern style. So we talked about it. The, with the mutings um, so that's gonna that's how you're gonna get into into the cooler that's how you know because the first video is gonna get you started but some of them are a little bit square and then you are making them square the two end is a very square shape so having these um, upbeats which you could also call syncopation you might you know some people talk about syncopation this is a very uh, simple form of syncopation but it is it is syncopation um, syncopation can be much more complicated um, 
that's maybe for another time. Okay, so now, um, okay, so we're 10 minutes in, so I'm going to end it. I'll, I'm going to make another video, uh, Intermediate Part 2.